Y'all live it up. Y'all stay safe out here. I just found out an ex coworker of mine here in Philly got shot. He okay though, but they tried to rob him. It was on the news on Tuesday. And I kind of found out it was the, my, the boy. I said I hit him up today. He said he cool. They, they tried to rob him. And um, he got he got, uh, the gunshot grazed his head. I think it was over in the Germantown area. That was my old coworker, man, my union rep. Me and him real, me and him cool. Good money. Good cool dude. I talked to him, he, you know, grace of God, you know what I mean? So y'all stay safe out here, man. He's a good dude, man. He's a father. And uh, somebody tried to, two guys tried to rob him, and he, he was on his way to work. He had his pistol on him, and luckily he had that. So God was good, and um, I'm glad that he's recovering. So... Developing this morning, a correctional officer is shot while trying to defend himself during an attempted robbery in Philadelphia's Germantown neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey is live at Temple University Hospital with the very latest. Good morning, Wakisha. Good morning, Jim. Well, that off-duty correctional officer, he was brought right here to Temple University Hospital where he remains in critical condition. And that's why Clinton, and I, and I, Clinton, let me tell you something. Martin, you worked in the jail. How long you worked in the jailhouse? About five years. About right. five years. Also happening now, ambushed on the way to work. The search is on for the men who got into a gunfight with a security worker. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS News Phil. And I'm Janelle Burrell. It happened just before 10 o'clock last night in Earlham Terrace in Germantown. Let's head to Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright, who's joining us live now with the latest details. Madeline, what can you tell us? Good afternoon, Jim and Janelle. Initially, police said that the victim was an off-duty corrections officer, but within the last half hour, we learned that he was actually a forensic security consultant. He was shot multiple times, and at last check, he was in critical condition at Temple University Hospital. I just found out an ex coworker of mine here in Philly got shot. He okay, though, but they tried to rob him. It was on the news on Tuesday. And I kind of found out it was the, my, the boy. I said I hit him up today. He said he cool. They, they tried to rob him here in Philly. Got shot. He okay though. Here in Philly. Got shot. He okay though. Here in Philly. Got shot. He okay though. He was shot multiple times, and at last check, he was in critical condition at Temple University Hospital. And um, he got he got, uh, the gunshot grazed his head. I think it was over in the Germantown area. That was my old coworker, man, my union rep. Me and him real, me and him cool. Good money. Good cool dude. Philadelphia police are searching for four people in connection with the shooting of a forensic security consultant as he was heading to work. Philadelphia police are searching for four people. Philadelphia police are searching for four people and for four people and for four people. I talked to him, he, you know, grace of God, you know what I mean? So y'all stay safe out here, man. He's a good dude, man. He's a father. And uh, somebody tried to for four people and for four people. Two guys tried to rob him, and he, he was on his way to work. He had his pistol on him, and luckily he had that. So God was good, and um, I'm glad that he's recovering. So police say the 43-year-old victim was walking from his home to his car when four men approached. Two guys tried to rob him. One of the men had a gun. The victim pulled out his own gun to protect himself. He and one of the suspects ended up getting into a shootout. During the exchange of gunfire, the 43-year-old victim's gun was actually struck by a bullet. 
render, rendering that gun disabled. And we actually found parts of the gun on the street, and the actual gun we found on the floorboards of his car, and it was in pieces because it was struck by gunfire. So very, very unusual. Police say the victim was shot in the head and shoulder. We found out an ex coworker of mine here in Philly got shot. He okay though. Police say the victim was shot in the head and shoulder. He okay though.